Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to be challenged, inspired and motivated. Please give a very warm welcome to John Shackleton. I'm what they call a motivational speaker. And I have absolutely no idea why they call us that. What would be the point in me motivating you? When's the next time you're in the classroom? Monday at best. Do you think any motivation I can give you right now is going to last till Monday? Don't be silly, you're going to get drunk a couple of times over the weekend. I thought he was um, fabulous this morning actually, really inspirational. I quite liked how he pulled the thoughts out of the people's heads and threw it up onto the board because they were what we were thinking. Would you mind if I read your mind? Mm, okay, let's, uh, let's chuck that up there. And see. Oh no, please don't pick on me. Well, what about this man we're here with a funny bow tie? Let's grab a thought from him and see what that one does. What does this guy know about teaching? Well, not a lot, actually. I thought teaching was a place in China, but... I liked his message and uh, got, got us thinking. You know, making changes and facing your fears. Very thought-provoking. You hear people say that all the time, oh, things have got to change around here. But it's actually, you know, we that have to change. Ladies and gentlemen, things don't change. We change. The school will not get better. We get better. Our staff will not get better because we're good at leadership. We get better at leadership. Our job is to change. It is not to be the same as we were yesterday. If you're one of these people that's sort of sitting there and relaxing and saying, well, that's it, I've made it, I tell you what, it's interesting, you will not stay static. If you look outside in nature, th nothing is static. Things are either growing or decaying. Is that right? So if you are not growing, and I don't mean this way, if you're not growing, guess what? You're not standing still. You're going backwards. Uh, he was really funny, humorous. He made lots of jokes, made people laugh. Hilarious. I think him is really, really important. It keeps everyone's attention and puts a message across that is really important in a more light-hearted way. And I think people are more open so that there is him. I'm not even going to look under my Because <laughs> even if it is there, John, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and they normally add at the end, you see, because I'm in control. No, you're not. You did not stop you. You know what stopped you? Fear stopped you. You weren't in control. Fear's in control. It was at that moment you learnt adrenaline is brown. <laughs> now look, I'm not taking the mickey out of you for being fearful. Everybody's fearful. We're all fearful. We have fears all the time, and there is nothing wrong with that. But do you know what we learn as human beings? Most of us, when we're younger, do you know what we learn? We learn to run away from our fears. Oh, just incredibly inspiring, it, it, actually walking in to confront fear and, and challenging yourself and being able to stand back and actually say it's not about trying to change or motivate people, but being that inspiration yourself and walking the talk. And I thought that he told a few home truths about um, skill versus motivation. Motivation is amazingly important. My father retired at the age of 60. By the time he was 62, he'd had two heart attacks. After the second heart attack, he went to his doctors and the, the doctor said to him, and he used these 10 simple words, if you don't change your lifestyle, you'll be dead in six months. Now, I'm a health and fitness freak and I've been banging on to my dad about quitting smoking and changing his diet for, and taking up exercise for years. I didn't take any notice of me, did he? I'm his son, what do I know? But the doctor says those 10 simple words and bang, my father immediately changed. My father walked out of his office a non-smoker. He immediately changed his diet. And at the age of 62, he took up exercise. He started walking five kilometers a day. He's now 85. And <laughs> we've no idea where he is. No. <laughs> He's now 85 going on 15. Now, we've, we've got 20 years out of that situation. Why? Because the doctor motivated him. No, the doctor did not motivate him. I had been using those words to my father for many years. The words were in place. My father took the words and for the first time in his life internalized them. All motivation 
is internal. If you wanted to lose weight, why don't you send them an email to your entire database saying, if I haven't lost 10 kilos in the next 10 weeks, I will put a picture up on Facebook of me in my bathing suit, in my bikini. Yeah! <laughs> now when you look at the donut, what are you thinking? Oh, I don't want the donut. <laughs> That's motivation. That's commitment. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, he just hits the nail on the head, eh? You get so busy in your profession and you constantly kind of make excuses, thinking, you know, yeah, I can do this, I can't do that, or, you know. But no, he was great. Huge amounts of wisdom in his words just to go back through. No, he was fantastic. He, um, he made us feel uncomfortable about a few things, but that was what he wanted to do. Yeah, he really made some concepts really challenging. He asked some really challenging questions and I got a lot out of it. Our self-esteem controls everything. Everything. Every word out of your mouth, every action that you take is controlled by your self-esteem. And let me ask you a question. When was the last time you had a training course, read a book, or listened to a CD about self-esteem? We spend all of our time studying skills. And yet, what will determine your success? What will determine the success of your staff? I've got to inspire you to change. And in order to do that, I've got to make you uncomfortable. Because if you're comfortable, you won't change. Here's the nasty question that will make you feel uncomfortable. Exactly what are you doing about it? I just need to remind you of one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Things don't change. We change. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>